Hey, welcome back to Fixing Things. Today, we are making things. We're fabricating things. And sometimes, you need to pull a part off a vehicle. And this thing won't work. I have the right tools somewhere in my garage. <laughs> I don't know where. I gotta get this harmonic balancer off of here. And this thing just will not work. I have the right tool. Man, but I can't find it. I searched for almost two hours. I can't find it. So today, on this episode of Fixing Things, we're gonna make a harmonic balancer puller. And then when I get done with it, we're gonna paint it up, get done using it, paint it up, and put it in a drawer where I can always find it. And I'm gonna make it out of this flat piece of steel. That's what I'm gonna do. Great time of day. This ought to be a good video because so many people are out there wanting to pull pulleys and beat on their hubs and beat on their stuff and to build, beat on all kinds of stuff, tearing their stuff up, using big giant pry bars, and all they really need to do is just fabricate. It's a, it's a lot easier just to fabricate the piece you need and use it, and then you put it away for the next time you do it. So let's fix this thing. So I went ahead and put some bolts in there. And I marked the center of all the volts. Then we're going to come out, we're going to cut this thing in half, transcribe these lines out to here somewhere, make them all nice and neat, drill some holes in it, and we're going to weld on a nut and a bolt and everything. That way it'll go right over that thing and push that harmonic balancer off. That's what I'm thinking. I think we can do that. And we'll straighten up these lines. Cut this off, drill three holes. Now I got a big heavy bolt with a nut on it. I'm gonna put another nut where I clean the sides up. That way we can weld it and get some penetration on it. Also cleaned up around here. Use my white oak. Speed wrench. Now we can tack up around this thing. All right, now I just need to cool that off a little bit. Being hot. 
All right, for this to work, you gotta have your, your harmonic balancer bolt loose. And then we're gonna bolt this on there. Whew, she's still a little warm. Oh, it fits like a glove. We're gonna snug these two up. Then we'll get an impact for that guy. All right, let's see if this thing will work. It'll either work or it won't. I think we got it. Oh, you know what it is? I gotta back the big nut out. Now, she'll come off of there. <laughs> Success! Man, did you see that thing? It came right off. And if it wasn't for that the big bolt that was in there, that was loose, that thing would have came off on the first thing. It pulled it off easy. Look at that. This is all I did. All I did was a little quarter inch flat piece of steel, welded a nut on there, drilled three holes. Now I'm pretty sure if you oblong these holes, you could probably use it on multiple things, like steering wheels or anything else. There you go. And that's just made out of scrap material. Just scrap material. That's going in my toolbox now. Hey, if you like these things, like and subscribe. Oh, I do this kind of stuff all the time. You know why? Because my memory's going shot. My wife says, oh, maybe I'll put a label on it just to tell me what it is. <laughs> it's going in the toolbox. That's for sure. I'm probably going to clean it up and give it a shot of paint. Make it look like it's not a piece of scrap metal. God bless you. I'll see you on the next Fixing Things with Pastor Bill. Hey, remember this. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Even make a harmonic balancer puller. Great time of day. I'll see you.